This is a demonstration of the TSX remote app connection sharing utility and the remote app builder script that I built to work with it. Right, you load up the remote app builder tool. Basically what it does is it has a database of all the applications that you want to share, all the remote applications that are installed on this remote app server, and that's what this machine is. So under the import apps tab you can already see that we have several applications that we want to deploy as remote apps. But I'm just going to add another one. I'll add uh, paint. All you do is click on the link or the box for the executable. Let's try this. Just use that. So I'm going to paste it in there. Remote app. Let's do Alright. So once you have both those pieces of data, you just hit import app. And you can see it added it in there. We have uh, server config, which is where you would specify the address of the machine. And then you have the template. This is the actual template that's used to generate the remote RDP application connections. So once you have all your apps ready to go, you want to deploy, you put in the new username of the person that's going to be using the application and this would match up with the users that are un installed on this domain or this particular machine. And then you select a location where you want to save the... so there's nothing in here now, just hit open and then the checkbox to enable LAN mode, this is just sets the settings for high bandwidth mode so you can get uh, better uh, performance out of that. So we're going to say build, building the remote apps. So it's done. Close it out and then go check my Dropbox. And here's all the remote apps that are built. Now I'm just going to move this virtual machine over. Here's the same folder. Now I'll show you how this runs. This is a completely different machine. Just loading up the paint application. And there it is. This is totally remote application. This is not installed on a local machine. And it's executed just like it was on the machine. Okay, so let's try the 64-bit uh, version of Photoshop CS5. While to load. So here we are. We're in Adobe Photoshop CS5. Now let's see if we can open something. Go to my computer. Now the main drive, since this is a remote app, the main drive right now is actually the C drive on the remote app server. But the application builder automatically tells it to mount your C drive through uh, the remote app services. So you can browse your local hard drive well, anyway, you just save the document to your local drive as it shows up as a network share. Or you could use uh, like a Dropbox or something to keep your application synchronized. But you can access this application really from any machine in any different location and your work would always be in the same spot. And that's it.